Woo! Oh, yeah! What is going on, Crows? Well, did you just see that seed fly off the tip of my finger? What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video. I totally did not take a bite of that watermelon prior to uh, throwing it to the pigs. Okay, anyway. Oh, yeah. That is some refreshing food right there. Lulu, run, Lulu. Don't let anyone catch you, baby girl. All the little ones are over here eating. Refreshing snack in this hot Florida sun. Today, later on, yes, we're gonna make the coolest little Amazon bot turtle pond. But of course, last video we updated you on pretty much everything other than the ducks and pigs and stuff that are at the other house. So we're gonna swipe over there real quick, hang out with the animals there, and then eventually come back here to get started on the cool turtle pond project. Let's go. Let's feed Gary. Oh, I love feeding these guys. Ready? Look at all the tilapia. I can't wait to get these ducks home. I miss Gary. Look at him. What's going on, llamas? Oh, you're cool. You're, I'm not gonna lie, that one's really cool. I like that one. All the goats. As you know, we have our goats back at the house. Everything we have is back at the house, other than the ducks and, of course, where we're heading to right now and why I have a bunch of wood in the back of my truck. Lady May! We're gonna have these two fellas home this week. We're gonna be building a house for them, a mud pit for them, an enclosure for them. I'm so excited to have you home, Lady May. She knows it's me too, I promise you. Look at the rear end on that son of a gun. Mango here. Hey, Mango, it's so great to see ya. You ready to come home too? They'll be home within the next week. And then of course here at the Visa Kids farm, they'll actually be moving Willow and all the pigs that are over there. You can see them all the way over there over and into this enclosure to then do something further over there. There you go, girl. There you go. You got a tree growing through there right there? That's gonna be nice. I'm like Urban Rescue Ranch right now, filming my phone, my boy Ben. Ben, I'm taking notes. iPhone life. Woo! Lady May and Mango had eggs. Yay! I didn't know pig laid eggs. Look at this. No, one of the ducks must have came in here and had some eggs. Do we leave them or do we try to incubate them? Let's leave those because we got uh, the incubator full of... All right, let's birds. leave them. Hopefully, yeah, Mango and Lady May are probably going to squash those things. But that's nature. All right. Oh, yeah. Sheesh. Missiles. I'm actually very curious to see how big these Paku are. One of these days when we come and sane this pond, we're literally going to sane this pond, which means get a net from one side, walk it across the other, and catch pretty much everything that's in it. And we're going to see how big everything is. And we'll probably release everything after saning it. Holy moly. Look, 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 That's, those are tilapia, bro. If you remember, I did a Asian market rescue video and those are the tilapia from that video. Look at the amount of minnows in here too. I don't see the arowana. Probably got eaten by a hawk. It could still be in here for all we know. I guess we'll figure that out when we say in the pond, huh? It's gonna be a fun day. Yeah. Our three boxes have exactly what we are creating in today's video inside. I almost just slipped. All right, Kafiras, we're here at the fish room and I did a little Amazon shopping the other day and bought something that I really wanted, let's be honest. And you've seen me do videos like these in the past for sure. I've done multiple. This is the basking light. Floating Island. Some lily pads. I don't know why I bought these, but they're axolotl stickers. When I upgrade Mr. Axolotl's tank here, I'll do like a giveaway and give these away. That'll be pretty cool. I think it is glass though, so we gotta be careful. Oh yeah, that's all glass. I don't even remember what I spent on this. Um, I'll pop the Amazon link up. Check this out. That's the filtration underneath. There's a pump. See the pump? Poop and stuff will go through and into here where the filter then sucks it up. This is really cool, bro. Look at this. This is where the turtles go. You have the plants up here, a little basking spot right here. This is gonna be sick when it's done. This is legit glass. Ain't nothing cheap about this right here. I wanna unbox this. So I bought a basket lamp that I've never seen before. Look at Pixar. I think inside this is the bulb. Look at this little thing. Boom! For all my ASMR people, cut the music. Here we go. I don't make ASMR videos. We bought all this stuff for something that only has three inches of water. I <laughs> know. I didn't really think that one through. So the smaller pieces of glass go on the sides, just like this. Yep, there they go. There we go, there we go. The long piece of glass will go right here, Danny. Boom. Oh. Woo! The glass just slips right in. These little plastic L-shaped pieces actually go here to then hold the top of the glass together. So they give you a whole little baggie of these. 
like that. Very impressed with this Amazon purchase, not gonna lie, very impressed. How cool is that? So it's got this glass side, so you can still see through, of course, but the turtles can't get out. Here's our lamp, we clamp this lamp like this. Our mantis came out to say hello because we're building this literally right next to his house. But then again, let me give you an update of what's going on. We have our heating lamp right here. Turtle could swim around here. Once we fill this up with water, it actually will put the poop through these holes and then filter it so you won't see the waste on the bottom of the tank. Also up here, they give you the option to have like a little space to put plants and stuff. So we got our artificial plant, although we probably could grow because there's gonna be water inside the top there, some live plants. But we're gonna start with artificial for now. So we have our artificial plant with some rock right there, although right here is actually a little feeding spot. You can put food there and the turtles will eat out of that little hole in the ground. Although I just like to put the food in the water and the turtles eat it right out of the water. The little ramp for them to get up is right before that little feed spot. Now, our next step is to put water inside the tank. Filling up water. I literally bought these lily pads thinking that this palm was gonna be a lot bigger. I think it looks great. It fits, uh, fits perfect. There is smaller ones though. These smaller ones would look good. Oh yeah. Oh, look, for sure. All right. Just like that, we're ready to put water in. I think this is gonna be enough water. So this tank's probably about five gallons of water. Where's the water coming from? Oh. oh. Dude, oh, dude. Note to self, it does not hold five gallons of water. More like three. Oh yeah. First thing getting plugged in is our filter. We're gonna see how that flows and then we'll get the light turned on. I'm not gonna lie, look how sick that is. So the filter is actually underneath the tank. What it's doing is sucking all the waste from the bottom of the tank. So let's say the turtle poops inside the pond. It's just gonna pull that poop under, pull it all to the filter because it has no substrate to sit in. Goes right to the filter, gets filtered, and then spit back out the top. Kind of right where the basking area is, where the turtle's gonna bask. Speaking about basking, let's get the light plugged in. Ready, set, woohoo! Bring the basking there. Now, if you remember, we built this pond right here. 120 gallon turtle pond. It looks amazing. Of course, we have two different basking areas, a lot of turtles inside. Let me give you a rundown on a couple turtles that are in here. There's a bunch of fish. We have goldfish, a bunch of tetras. As you know, one of our last videos, we went and released a lot of the yellow bellies and painteds at my parents' pond, because it was much bigger and they were growing so fast. So we kind of just have the smaller stuff. You see how fast he is? Look at that thing. We have a lot of these little baby Indian spotteds in here. I don't know where his head is and he will bite. Wow, look how big he is now. Ah! 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 <laughs> Why is he so aggressive? Okay, that's our big Chinese albino turtle. As you can see, he doesn't like being held. This is our African side neck turtle. We've had him for ages now too. We got this at the pet store. Look at the size of my tilapia with no tail. Dude, I've had this thing since he was a baby too. Look at the amount of poop hanging from this tilapia right now. I got it. There you go, bud. How much? 35,000 likes and I will come back and eat this sling of poop. I'm totally kidding. Please don't like this video. Where'd it go? Oh! I don't care how many likes you get, I probably wouldn't ever eat in that. Trust me, I was just kidding. Everything in this pond is like quadrupling in size. And it's crazy to me because a lot of the time they hide, right? I come and I feed and then they go and they hide. So I don't see them very often unless I really go digging through these rocks. Look at those little yellow marks on his head too. Such a beautiful turtle. So we got a little baby Indian spotted here, which is a beautiful, beautiful turtle. And you put him in there. The thing I like about this pond is you could see your turtle. Like that one, it's very natural, obviously a lot more natural. You can't exactly see your turtles. Like I said, when I was seeing all those different species, I'm like, wow, it got big, because typically I don't see them all the time. They come in and out, they eat, they go back in. This, for instance, you just move some lily pads and look at your turtle. I mean, you got full vision of your turtle pretty much anytime it's in the water or even where it's about to go right now, out of the water. And it could just walk around the bottom and you can make this so much more natural. Look at little buddies swimming around. I mean, this is a really cool tank to have. One of my favorite setups I've ever purchased on Amazon. And a lot of the times when we do videos like this, I end up giving these tanks back to you guys that watch all the videos. So I obviously just put an Indian spotted in here. Turtles are cool to just kind of bounce around from pond to pond. This turtle just went for a little ride into a separate enclosure. Now he's gone. He's back into his house. I bought this to make a super cool video and give it to one of you watching. So all you gotta do, smash that like button, subscribe down below and comment why 
you would want this pond. I'm gonna leave it running for a little bit, of course, because this is super cool. And I kind of want to buy one for myself, but I'm gonna package it back up, and then one of you watching this video right now will be able to get this and actually put a turtle in it permanently. I suggest, obviously, something small. It's gonna outgrow this for sure, unless you get something that stays small. This is one of the larger size ones, too. I know they have like different sizes that you could buy. This one is just like, so dope. I'm gonna send everything. I'm literally gonna send this. Send it all, it's all yours. Smash the like button, subscribe down below, and comment why you want this pond right here. And I'll ship anywhere around the world. Thank you all so much for watching up to this point of the video. I'm so glad I got to update you on all the farm animals at the original OG PC farm, now VZ Kids Farm. The island boys over here, <laughs> our mantis shrimp, our axolotl that will be getting an upgrade. Goldfish, crawfish, turtles, beta fish, flower horn. Everything is doing so amazingly well. We made the dopest turtle pond you could buy on Amazon. Peace! There's a piece of wood, and from the pigs rubbing up and down because they shake their butt on stuff, their hairs are all pried between it. <laughs>